A Gooby yeah, watching man. UFOs? Need some advice, Rockhead. Oh. Make sure you get drunk or hit a stick of PCP before you go over there. Ooh, you saw Alien? Yeah. Light your blunts. Get your drinks. The show's about to begin. Welcome to the cool show. We got Pomona in the build. Yeah. Talking about the aliens. We talk about the crib. Huh. Talking about the game banging. Talk about the prison. Huh. Whatever's on the mind, we can start this new edition. The cool show. We got Pomona in the build. Yeah. Talk about the aliens. We talk about the crib. Huh. Talk about the game banging. Talk about the prison. Huh. Whatever's on the mind, we can start this new edition. The cool talk show. about the back of the moon. And stone heads, and niggas in the prison with wounds for stray dads. You were both sighters in Area 51. Crippin' in Pomona at times, it wasn't fun. The goo show, moderators, please get the haters. We ain't got time for them, only talk about the craters in the moon. The flying aliens in the zone. If aliens are listening, I smoke like Cheech and Tone. Tell me about your people, and I'll tell you about Pomona. Shout out to Cab Mac. Videos, that's my homie. I be the king, real. This the circle when we chose it. This is the new edition of the hottest show. We own it. The cool show. We got Pomona in the building. Talking about the aliens. We talk about the cribbing. Talking about the game banging. Talk about the prison. Whatever's on the mind, we can start this new edition. The cool show. And they love their master more than the master loved himself. They would, they would give their life to save the master's house quicker than the master would. The house negro, if the master said, we got a good house here, the house negro would say, yeah, we got a good house here. Whenever the master said, we, he said, we. That's how you can tell a house negro. Yeah. They conspire with the grades on the mother ship. Mark of the beast. Control the whole globe through computer chips. They change legislation, affect the laws. Targeting black folks without no probable call. America, the corporation still got niggas to change. They got secret concentration camp streets with no names. Just waiting for the jump off. They planned it like that. We killing each other, but the government supplying the straps. Setting the fixes in. They trying to silence. Whether it's through mind control, poison or violence, deadly disease, viruses, chemical warfare, electric frequencies with toxins in the air. Mass hypnosis affecting the whole cultures, satanic vultures, they killing niggas like poachers. They control your vertical and your horizontal. If this was the matrix system, then I would be the oracle. Food full of chemicals, lead in the water. They got more liquor stalls to churches on the corner. Who really killed Malcolm X? Who killed Martin Luther? And who y'all think is the shooter? Really ain't the shooter. Mind manipulation, hand quicker than the eye. And did Biggie really call his death when he was born to die? And was Pac reminiscing on the premonition? Look, let me explain. Now was Pac reminiscing on the premonition? To leave a message for these niggas to wake up and start listening, huh? False prophets making profits. Why these preachers getting richer? Pro niggas got empty pockets. They got masculinity it's now turned feminine. Rapper used to wear brute, but now they smelling like cinnamon. Walk around town wearing dresses with a bitch purse. Now that I think about it, you used to be a bitch purse. It was always in you what's next on the menu. Cause niggas will sell their soul to have the devil go up in you. And if you start speaking the truth, it's suicidal. Fuck around and get took out like Whitney and Michael. Uh. Bad and bruised, but scarred, but hard. Oh well, they kill a bunch of niggas when they waking up them sleeper cells. They try to send us all to hell. They got everybody under mind control. Red lightning, stop green lightning, go. Put thoughts in your mind that you never told. If I thought before we wake, don't let them take my soul. They got everybody under mind control. Make it move fast, make it move slow What you think you know, you don't really know Some wicked people doing things behind closed doors The federal government is the biggest hypocrite Shit, even the constitution was written on him Fuck the policy, fuck the regulations 
Let me break it down to you for this quick demonstration. Pharmaceutical companies, they make a trillion dollars writing them fake prescriptions. Male practice doctors, they never taught us about the natural healing. Look, let me explain. They never taught us about the natural healing. Cause they making the killing, I'm killing niggas by the million. And slang the body parts, heart of the heartless. Public enemy number one, and niggas all tar. Now they ask me if I voted. I said, why bother Donald Trump off the fuck these niggas like he did his own daughter? Yeah. Now let's change the subject. Cause these weirdo motherfuckers make me queasy to my stomach. Brainwashing these kids trying to take their soul. With some dope, with some money, with some fame, with some gold. <laughs> to understand this, you have to go back to what young. Uh, welcome to the Goo Show. I am Goo, and this is a horses edition of the Goo Show. Um, I got my Saratoga in the background. Let me put it on pause or something, um, so I don't get hit for. We're waiting for a few people to come in. Uh, give a little introduction on horse racing. I don't know how many people bet on horses. Uh, yeah, I had a show last night. It was supposed to do at 9 o'clock. Didn't feel good, so I canceled it. My Sunday show got cut off because we had a monsoon run through. Um, it took down our internet. Uh, but this is Saratoga betting. A lot of people, you know, I know bet on cards, sports. Basketball, baseball, football. You know, you rarely run into a lot of people that bet on the horses. Horses is a fun game. Um, if you get into it and you enjoy horses. First and foremost, you love betting. Um, both of them go hand in hand. Um, and it's crazy how much I, I, I look into horses and bet on them. Um, and then there's a movie that's coming out Friday based on um, horses itself. Let me shoot this off, man. I want them uh, taking my shit down because of their little horse races being in the background. Um, but I have some. I have a another link in the background I can switch to and look. Um, I think right now starting at a pick six. I want to tell people, you know, a lot of people don't know where to bet at. Some people do off track betting. Um, you can get apps just like football like fan duel for football and um, basketball and baseball you can get twin spires um tvg app what's good with your skunk dog i appreciate you stopping in man um twin spires you can put you know start with a little 10 or 20 bucks i try to play you know more no more than 20 bucks when i go bet on the horses Win, lose, or draw. Um, sometimes I go over, sometimes I go under. Um, <clears throat> but I have Saratoga in the, in the New York racing. Um, I tend to bet really two, only two. To, it's called a Grand Slam. I'm going to tell you how to play that. Well, you can play it for a dollar, man. It, it turns into, you know, 40 times that dollar. Um, whatever. And it's a cool little uh, bet. Um, for a dollar, you can bet four races. Um, today, it starts in the sixth race. The sixth, seventh, and eighth race, um, you can bet one horse. That horse must come in first, second, or third. Uh, and then in the seventh race, the same thing. And then in the eighth race, the same exact thing. You pick one horse, he comes in first, second, or third. And then the the last, the fourth race, you have to, that horse has to actually win. Um, and it pays, pays pretty good. Um, you try to double it up so that you can get more than two or three horses in, um, and it'll double your payout. Um, what's up, Boxing Conversations, Reggie Owens? Appreciate you, um, So, like I say, th <clears throat> what they're starting at right now at Saratoga, they're in the fifth race. 10 minutes before the fifth race. Um, and for anybody that may be looking at it, you want to do some live betting. If you got a twins buyer account, um, 
or TVG, um, any of those little horse apps. Um, is where bait, me myself, I have an off track betting that's right down the street from here, um, where I can go and, and bet. Um, not too much of a pick six person, like I say, this starts this fifth race starts to pick six at Saratoga. Um, these have good payouts. I mean, you can you can win three hundred. Two three hundred thousand dollars on a pick six if you pick and right, um, but you got to do some handicap. Saratoga is known as um, Big Sandy, so it's it's dirt is real deep. Um, so a lot of closers have a hard time picking off horses, um, and and stuff like that. You start you you begin to learn if you you looking at PPs. What I have um, behind me, I had some PPs. These are basically past performances I'm not sure how good you can see it um, on your screen um, but for this fifth race um, if you notice this is for two-year-olds so they were just born last year um, you got express bet yeah express bet is another one you know anything like that man you can you can put 10 15 20 dollars i think some of them uh, minimum is ten dollars. Um, you know, you put a little bit. You, you try it. Or one thing about horse race, you can bet ten cent. Um, they have what they call a ten cent super. Man, you can pick. You can quick pick. One of, one of the ways I won when I first started betting was on a quick pick. For ten cent, I bet four horses will come in in, in that order. Um, in that precise order. Say, for instance, the one has to come in, the two has to come in, the three, and the four. If I have it one, two, three, four, I win whatever that – I can bet that for 10 cents. Um, but then you can box. If you have four numbers that you like, you can box every race um, with your numbers. Say, for instance, my number is 1527. I could box one, five, two, seven. That can come in any order. As long as those four horses come in the top four spots, you win that superfector. Their superfectors pay, like I say, anywhere from you, you might just win your money back if all favorites. But if you get one with all long shots, man, the, 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 the amount of money you can make is, 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 uh, I don't know how to say. Let me see if I can exceptional for the basis of what you're playing for 10 cent a dollar um like i say when i play this grand slam um and i have a ticket that i played for a dollar uh, and each one of these horses come in and that last horse wins that last race you win whatever it is it might be 39 dollars for the grand slam it might be 40 and let out what i'll do is is when we get to the sixth race which is the next race um, I'll show you what my ticket is um, for that dollar. And pretty sure they have this bet on express best TVG or whatnot. It's called a grand slam right now is the fifth race pick six, just because I'm sitting here and I haven't moved on to the, to the other one. Um, I'm going to look at this race and we're going to see what comes in. I'm, I'm a go back and tell you this race goes off in six minutes. So we're going to look at this race for them six minutes um, like I say, this is a two-year-old race. Um, five and a half furlongs made eighty-three thousand. Um, so there's a difference between when two-year two-year-old horses go straight to maiden. Um, a lot of a lot of trainers and owners think that these horses are going to be good. Um, if you look at some how much they paid for some of these horses, um, this two horse they paid fifty k. Um, these aren't. Real big, um, expensive, expensive breeds. But if you get somebody that's in this race and they paid a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand for that horse, look at his workouts. He's probably gonna blow the blow the field out because most of these horses were fifty thousand. Um, the highest I see is fifty thousand. Um, so they're good horses, but they're not great horses. However, they're putting them in the maiden special weight race um if they were sorry horses they were probably starting to maiden claim them um, from the odds i'm looking at over here let me see if i can share this so that you'll see it 
Um, I could put it probably up here real quick. Now, one second. I'm going to give you the odds here of uh, real quick. I'm going to give you a quick pick of this. This is what the odds are. Uh, the two is at five to two, nine to two on the five. Um, and so that's just a, that's what the, the top numbers, one, two through nine, that's the numbered horse underneath that. That's the odds of what the horse is going off at. If this seven is going off at 10 to one. So if you bet $2, when that horse wins, you, you're paying, getting paid $20 for the win of that horse, for that horse winning. Um, you can bet $2 across the board on that horse. Um, $5 across, $5 to win. There's so many different bets um, that you can bet. But we're going to look at each one of these horses. Um, the, the one is a first time starter. Um, and sometimes you want to look at a horse that's probably ran already. Unless a, a first time starter horse has had great workouts. They're not going to be that, <clears throat> that, that good. Their first time in the gate coming out running against multiple other horses. A lot of times when they're training and doing this, their workouts, they're running against another horse or they're running by themselves. Sometimes if you don't see a, like, like this one horse that says BG, that means it was a, a breezing gate drill. So they did come out of the gate with this horse. Some of them like this, his, his workout before that was just breezy. He didn't start in the gate. You want to look at sometimes horses that start in the gate so they get used to being in the gate. Because the first time for anything, even a horse, can be overwhelming to him. Um, so like I say, it's a lot of two-year-olds, young horses. Um, this horse was bred in February. Um, you glow girls at five to two. It's a Brad Cox horse. But if you look at his workouts on dirt, Keelan is, is kind of a deep track. And I tell tell people when you're looking at the, the workout, four furlongs is like um, you average it out one furlong, 12 seconds. So you want a horse to run either at 12 seconds or faster than 12 seconds for just one furlong. So if it's going four, four furlongs, you want it to be at 48. Now, if they run in a 47 and a 46, as a two-year-old, they running fast as hell. This horse is working out good because he's ran a 47. The last time it, it breezed in the gate, which was second of 36 other horses that trained on that day. They didn't all train together. It was 36 horses trained that day on July 13th. You glow girl uh, had the second fastest speed for that day, but he's never ran before. But I would put him in if I was using a pick six, I would play that two horse. Um, I'm just give a fictional bet. We're gonna look at the race and see how I come out there still uh, warming the horses up. Um, hold on, let me let me put it to the back because I ain't gonna keep. Going back and forth. See if I can get it back up. Right. So that's the regular odds. If y'all can see behind me, um, it's real small. Let me remove this real quick. So you can see the odds behind me. You can't really see it, um, but they are there. I'll be able to look at it. So the two is favorite. And like I say, he's never ran before. Um, there's three uh, numero seis. I'm assuming that's in Spanish, number six, um, by Joe Sharp. Luis Saez, the, the jockey on this horse, he's a speed jockey. If you ever see a horse that 
has speed, you want Luis Saez on that horse because he's coming out smoking right out the gate. Um, this horse has already ran um, before. Uh, a maiden 120. So basically he's dropping in class. He's dropping a little bit lower. And he came in third. So he finished third in a tougher um, race, the last race. So I would take the three as well. And right now the three is at seven to two. His odds are better than the two horse. The two horse is probably the fastest horse. Um, but they have what was called a uh, um, racing form. They're small now. They used to be big. But they're small now. But this is like what they call the Bible of horse racing. If you're going to get anything to look at and you want to do some handicap, buy you a daily racing form. You know, they're about five, six bucks, but they'll give you all the information that you need um, to help you out as well on betting. Because just going, going to the racetrack saying, well, I'm just going to pick numbers or I'm going to pick names. Well, on some things I do. Like if I see a devil horse in a race, I'm going to play that devil horse. And the reason why I play the devil horse, because most, this is just a psychological, something that I think of. Most Christians and most people that's religious faith are not going to bet that horse because it has devil in the name, which is always going to mean that that horse odds are going to be higher than what they should be. If they looked at the stats and said, well, this is a winning horse. But a lot of people won't do that just because of the name. They will stay away from it. Me, myself, I'm a bet it if it's if, if it's nice because a lot of them come in. It's just like double letter horses. Um, like MM. PP. CC. Anything with two names that have the same letter. I bet a lot of those. A lot of those come in. It might be something like community church, two C's. I'm going to bet that, that horse. Or I'm going to put it in my pick four. I don't usually play single races. I, I play out. I don't play horizontally. I play. I don't play vertically. I play horizontally. So I play pick fours, pick fives. Um, something that I can last out for my money. It's one of my buddies that's going to bed. He's asking me about some betting now. Oh, he's up there. What's up with your feel? Oh, uh, hey, I'm going to hit you. I'm on live talking about betting. i hit you back. You go? Did you go up there and bet? Oh, all right. All right, later. Um. Yeah, that's my buddy Phil, man. He, you know, met him up at the at the track betting. Um, let's see if it's going off. It's going off. So this race is going to either be took down. And it was the five that won it. So let's see what they said on the five, because I didn't even get to the five. He's another first time starter by. Outwork and Uncle Mo. Leave no trace. So that was a good one to start off. I think four to one, five to one. What's the odds on him? Yeah, that was a good uh, um, take, whoever had that. Um, so basically the next race is the sixth race. This is a start of... Uh, the bet that I'm trying to give y'all the bet, if, if y'all have it, it's called the Grand Slam. Now, for the Grand Slam, I played for a dollar just to show you it's a dollar. We'll come back. Um, I, I, I want to do a live later on tonight about um, Nope. I don't know how many people are going to see that. You know what I'm saying? But as a black man, I got a, a UFO channel. I'm definitely going to see a, a black director talking about the black experience with UFOs uh, should be interesting. Should be interesting. But I have a, a little um, 
one ticket, one dollar. Anybody can play it. Four horses, one in each race. The last race must win. Uh, once again, I'll tell you what this Grand Slam is in the first race and the sixth race. Whatever horse you pick here or you like in the sixth race, that horse has to come in first, second, or third. You win that leg of the Grand Slam. In the seventh race, the same thing has to occur. That horse has to come in first, second, or third. In the eighth race, you, you could pick one horse again. Most of the time, if you're, if you're smart, you'll, you'll take two horses in certain legs. Your, your ticket might be eight, twelve dollars. The last leg, that horse has to win. So what you do in the last leg, instead of just playing, like I say, I played a dollar. I like the five in the last leg. But if I want to make this a three dollar ticket, I would just play three horses in the last leg. That would spread it out. Whereas it's uh, better odds of winning. Because if my single five doesn't win, then I lose the whole ticket. But if the three or the six or something like that, and I have that on my ticket, then I win the whole ticket. And like I say, that's for a dollar. Um, but Skunk Dog, what did you, uh, have you looked into anything at Saratoga? Let's see what they said on it. Yeah, they didn't even have them in the, in the, in the book. Um, that leave no leave no trace. I think only seven, seven handicappers picked him out of uh, twenty. Good odds, but whoever got it won on that one. Um, all right, in this sixth race, I'm, I'm just gonna give y'all real quick. Um, how long been on here, man? Almost thirty minutes. Um, this Grand Slam. Um, this one is for three-year-olds and up. I'm going to do this one a little faster because we didn't even get to the other horses for the last bet. But uh, let me see. Six-rate five-six. All right, so this is six furlongs claiming 40000 um, per 72000 this is where the, 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 the trainers and the, the owners and the trainers, I'm not uh, really sure what the percentage of the jockeys get paid for the horses win, uh, but the purse is 72000 broken up amongst the top. I think because it's a six-horse race, might be four horses uh, that get it. Get, get in the money, the, the winner is going to get the most. So a person having a 30 to 1 shot like this 7 right here, they just hoping to get in the money. Um, but this horse has came in first, second. He's just he's taking a big step up. Um, Happy Farm is the favorite. Coming off the last race, a win with Flavian Pratt. The same jockey who just won on him. coming back and he's dropping him for whatever reason he's dropping him back down from op optional claiming 80,000 to a straight 40,000 I don't know if that's really a, a big drop or if it's in the same line but he just won so I guess he's dropping him back down to the 40,000 to get that that win because those last two races at the same amount of money he came in second with a different jockey so I would I would play the the six. However, this five Astrocratic is a speed horse. Um, he just came off that forty thousand claiming in the same race with Happy Form and came behind them for whatever reason. Uh, but they rested him since April. He's been resting. But he has the speed. 
I, I wouldn't put it past at the five or six. If you was playing um, the Grand Slam, if you wanted to play the five and the six, that would just double your, your ticket to $2. Um, the most I would say playing the Grand Slam is anywhere from um, that dollar to eight dollars by putting multiple because you you double up your if all favorites come in the grand slam won't pay anything you might pay ten eight nine dollars something like that um what you're looking for is long shots to to get in the mix and not very many favorites come in that top three oh your reception is better all right um you want you want larger prices horses to come in first second and third because in the grand slam you know like i say for a dollar you could quick pick the grand slam all you need really is that last horse to win that last race that horse to win all the other three races you just need them horses to come in first second and third a lot of times Pure favors won't even show up in third. That's what blows the this wager up. This Grand Slam wager is if favorites don't show up and a few long shots, and that's where you go and get that in the in the in the bigger races. So in this sixth race, I would say either the five or the six is going off right now. Um, is it? No, it's not going off 15 minutes. That was. Yeah, I'm trying not to show it in my background. Um, too much. Because I don't want them to hit me uh, with a strike looking at it. But in that six race, I would say five and six, man. Um, just on that. Um, the seventh race is a start of the pick four, late pick four. If anybody's played that, like I say, it's multiple um, races. Um, I played a pick four, not a big one. Uh, $8 because I singled a couple. I singled in this race, the seventh race, and I singled in the ninth race. Uh, spread out a little bit in the eighth race because it's a bigger field, and I think something's going to get uh, mixed up. In this seventh race, um, I like this three, hey there, with Flavian Pratt on it. He, he rode him the last time. Um, seven furlongs on the turf. Brad Cox is good on the turf. Probably in flat. Flavian Pratt is a good um, turf jockey. And I just think the speed, um, if he gets out there in front, could wire. Because so far, um, looking at these races, at Saratoga so far, especially on the turf, it's been a lot of wire to wire um, running. So I believe this, this three that's came in second two times in a row, uh, made 90 and made 120. Um, this is a made 105, five and a half furlongs on turf. So they don't have to go very far. You're looking for the speed. And if this three can get out front, he doesn't have to go as far as he went where he got caught at seven furlongs. He's only going five furlongs. He may just wire this whole field. So I would play the, uh, um, a three in the seventh race. My personal preference is singling the three. Um, but however, there are a couple that could upset is what is this two crowding out. Um, he's been off for a little minute. Uh, same jockey. Uh, I'm not seeing too much speed, but he may be a closer. Uh, and then other than that, another speed horse is this four body dove with Velasquez at the reins. And Wesley Ward does pretty good. Um, however, it's been off for a long time since May. Uh, and this is his first race back. He just might be good enough to do it, but I don't see any workouts 
of him running on turf. Um, so I'm not sure about that course, but, you know, if you want to throw him in in your pick four um, and you're playing like that, or like I say, on the Grand Slam, the first first leg, which was the sixth race, I would use the five and the six to come in first, second, or third, either one of them. In this seventh race, I would use the three just so my ticket wouldn't be cost that much. I single three. He's going to come in first, second, or third. I just don't see him um, getting beat. Or not showing up on the board of first, second, and third. I like him as as a single, um, wire in the field. But you may want to use a couple more. You may want to use the six, the four. Um, I like the three. Um, eighth race is a little bit more difficult. Um, it's a six furlong, optional claiming, 62. Um, there's a few horses in here that may shake up even the Grand Slam, the pick four. It's the reason why in the pick four I, I stretched out so far. In the first part of it, and I was trying, what I was trying to do is, is, is take a picture and upload my ticket so that I could show you instead of just saying it. But if I don't get them now, I'm doing another show for the people that may come back um, later on the night. My preview of the Nope movie. Talk about that. Talk about a you know black man doing a movie about UFOs. Seeing as I'm a black man and talk about UFOs on the internet, get clown. It's all good. Uh, but th since they came out with a movie, I got to speak on that because I'm definitely going to see it. Um, I'll show my ticket then. Um, but like I say, uh, in that seventh race, five, six, uh, three. Seventh race, maybe the two, a little bit of the two. And in the eighth race, um, who looks pretty good is this smash ticket with Kendrick Carmouche. Kendrick Carmouche, brother. Shout out to the brother, man. You know what I'm saying? There's not too many uh, um, brothers that still race in this industry, even though we dominated when horse racing first came out. Blacks dominated horse racing. Uh, we're not seeing that much anymore on the on the racetrack, um, but I like him. Smash ticket. Um, he came out of Sorrento G two um, in August of last year. That's a, a graded stakes. Um, his race after that at Lone Star, he beat the field by eleven lengths. If you've seen the replay, he just took off from um, the rest of the field. Um, if he still uh, has that speed for Bob Atris. I like him to, um, the widest field. However, playing the Grand Slam or playing the pick four or playing anything like that in the Grand Slam, you may be able to single the two mass, smash ticket. His speed is going to keep him first, second, or third. But you're going to have to watch this three. Far Away Love um, with Joe Rosario, who's a great um, turf rider. Um, and this horse is coming from Argentina. A lot of the Argentinian horses, horses that come from over there, they have superior, sometimes superior turf pedigree. Than the United States horses, and because this this horse ran in nothing but stake races, it's pretty much to assume that he's dropping in class coming over here. He just never ran on turf, but his pedigree says turf. Why they haven't ran him on turf, I, I don't understand. I don't know. Um, so, oh, well, matter of fact, this isn't even a turf race. This is a dirt race. And they've ran him on dirt. They just ran him distance. Um, he shortened up a lot of distance. So his first two races that he, he ran, he won by five lengths. 
but one of them was a mile and an eighth and one was a mile and a quarter where he came in third. Um, six furlongs, he ran that at 108. Man, that's a fast horse. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, the um, bad thing about European PPs, they don't give you how the horses started off. If they wired the field, if they came from behind, um, it doesn't show that. But I would definitely play him um, in the pick four or anything like that. Um, even in the in the in the um, the pick six, pick five, this grand slam, I definitely put him in there because he's going to be at ten to one. Just say, for instance, this the one that I like to two doesn't show up in his three does at 10 to one. That Grand Slam is going to pay way much more um, with him and, and a couple other because I like this Betsy Blue. Uh, I spoke to you all about <clears throat> playing horses with double, double letters. Betsy Blue is one of them. Let me see where they're at. Yeah, they trying to see where they're they're at on the uh on this six race to start of the Grand Slam. Um, like I say, the start of the Grand Slam, we'll see with the five and the six. Um I'm gonna give you the tickets that I have. Once again, I I I, I wanted to upload them so that you can see them. But if you're playing or you have your twin spires or your you know TVG bet you want to bet on the horses. Um, in the sixth race, I will give you the five and the six. Seventh race, two and the three. And in this eighth race, once again, I like the, the two. For pick four wagering, I will play the two, three. Uh, just give you what I have on mine. Hold on. Let's see the one. Yeah, because the one has the, I forgot about short sum address, the double S. Got to play that. Um, and Ricardo Santana. Um, good jockey. He hasn't been all that spectacular here at Saratoga. Saratoga is a hard racetrack to, to run on um, or race on for a lot of jockeys. But it's only been open for what four days so a lot of jockeys haven't got acclimated to the turf or the dirt you say trying to show support while being productive <laughs> i hope so you know what i'm saying um it threw me off course there any guy good looking out though um yeah, like I say, it's a double letter for the one. I, I would spread out in this eighth race, no matter what you're playing. Pick four, pick five. You got to spread out. This is probably going to be one of the more tougher races. I would say the one, two, three, six, seven, and nine. Best long shot is this seven. Elegant speaker with Fav Flavian Pratt on him. Um. For whatever reason, it went awry. I mean, this this horse last year went eight races, three wins, the second and the third. It's four four wins at the distance alone. Um, and at twelve to one, yeah, that might be a a horse that's that's going to do. So is the nine, mischievous Diane. Um, this, this race is second off the layoff of a long layoff since December. Last race was in June. Um, allowance 92, and he won his last two races. Dylan Davis has been on him all since his beginnings. Um, he's getting Lasix for the first time. Lasix, like I tell everybody, Lasix is like a, a, a shot that they give the horses make them a little bit better um, so i was spread out in that one um this last race the 10th race or the ninth race 
uh, in the, the last race for the Grand Slam. It's the, the second to the last late race for the pick four. This is where I have a hard time getting past She's a Mia, which is the five horse with Joel Rosario on. Um, new jockey um, on turf. It's been in the money four times. The last two running second. Seven to five is going to be small odds. But if you want to single your ticket, this would be a good bet that this horse would win that ace race or to single in the ninth race. Possibly a good single. Um, I would use it as a single. Um, but I will worry about the one with Luis Saez. I always speak of Luis Saez as being a front running horse. Um, trying to look back and see what the race start at. Um, they got the five and the six as favorites. Um, and three, Lisa's Vision. Very short ran horse, only has two races under under a belt. Um, won his last race and has trained on turf at Saratoga. Um, so it has some recency of, of running or training on turf um, for a turf race at Saratoga. A lot of horses they've ran, like the five, she's a Mia, has done all this training at Belmont, came over here. Um, when you see a horse that's came to this track and then jumped on the track for a little training, we should give them a little bit of lead way over the horses. The seven, the eight, and the nine were all main track only horses. That means that if it would have rained off and they wouldn't have ran on turf, those horses with the scratches of horses that, that would have ran on turf, they would have scratched them out and put the main track only in. So it didn't rain. It's going to run on turf. Me, myself, I like the five in that ninth race. Um, but the four, Classy Lynn, the three, and the one are definitely going to be scary. If I would do anything, I would do a 10-cent um, box. It would cost you $2.40 to box those four horses, one, three, um, four, and five. Uh, for $2.40, so you see how much it would come out with that box to may they all may drop to, to favorite. I mean, close enough to favorite. The biggest one is, is probably the one at six to one. Um, but you got a seven to five horse that you would have to hope not to win for that super factor to pay anything. Or you could just run the five on top with the other horses at bottom. I know I'm moving too fast for some beginners. Um, but the more and more I speak on it, or show y'all these little races, I'll, I'll explain. Um, the different type of betting, there's so many different type of bet. Um, if you just strictly like a horse, you can bet win, place, and show, coming first, second, and third. Um, you can take that horse if you like it that much more. Bet that horse on top with two or three horses underneath. Um, so there's so many different type of bets trying to look at this six race right now they got the six horse at nine to five and they got the five horse at seven to two the five horse if it was to win is going to pay better than the six horse the seven at 19 to one magnificent chrome But like I say, if you're playing the Grand Slam, uh, play the five and the six and hope that the five and the six come in first and second or second and third or anything of that nature. It doubles the payout of the Grand Slam. Meaning if you have both of those horses 
and one comes in first, one comes in second. Say you're playing an $8 ticket. And like I said, you got the five, six. I'm going to give you an example of what an $8 ticket is. It's the five, six in the first leg, which is the sixth race. The two, three in the seventh race. Uh, the two smash ticket in the eighth race and then in the ninth race say the three and the five now the three or the five must win in the grand slam to pay out however if the five and the six comes in in the sixth race that doubles your ticket if the two three comes in in the next race that quadruples your ticket now you get paid four times for those two horses if they come in second and third first and third any of those things as long as those two horses come in first second or third that quadruples your ticket then the two would have to come in first second or third and then in the last leg if the three or the five wins whatever that payout is you get paid four times so if the pay is say thirty dollars you get it four times. That's one hundred and twenty something dollars. So that's just a small ticket. If you want to try it, if you own anything and they got the Grand Slam, just try it and see. We're going to look at this first race um, and see what comes in. We had the five and the six. Um, and we just need either one of them or both of them. We're looking for both of them to come in. The crazy thing, I quick picked for a dollar on the Grand Slam. And in the first leg of, of my quick pick, I have the three. So in actuality, I have three different horses for two tickets. I just need the three for that quick pick ticket for the three to come in third place. I don't care. Five, six, three. We can come three, five, six. It can come five three six it doesn't matter both my tickets will be live um and that's how you look at it uh, so i've written all down i'm waiting for this this race to go off i'm, I'm gonna give you what uh, that will be a single one to pick for as i spoke of in the ninth race would be the five if i was playing and so on a pick four starting in the seventh race it will be single in the three in the seventh race, stretching out in the eighth race, singling the five in the ninth race, and then we'll go into the tenth race. Um, and the tenth race is the laugh. It's a turf race, maiden claiming forty thousand. These are um, dropping horses. That's not that good when you're in a maiden claiming, and you're three year year three-year-old or upward if you're a five or six-year-old horse and you're still in the maiden claiming 40,000 type races you're not making very much money you won't be around in these big tracks like Saratoga they'll send you down to um, smaller tracks Lone Star um, Delaware um, the smaller tracks where the purse purses aren't as big Two six six two. Okay, is that which what race you talking about there? See, he just put up what is a box. He just boxed a two six. Not sure what race he's he's speaking. He may be speaking of this six race. Okay, pretty sure you're speaking on the six race, Eduardo. So we're gonna see what happens. He got a two six for this race. Um, like I say, I like the five, six. Um, if I was going to play a trifecta, then he likes the two. If me and him was cool, we'd play a two, five, six box trifecta or something like that. It costs us three dollars. Um, I'm going to look at the race behind the screens. I have it up here. But like I say, I don't want to play it um, on my screen, on my TV, um, so that they'll knock, knock my stream down. But I'm going to tell you what this dude 
what this race does in the sixth race. I don't know who played it, what you played. Good luck to anybody that bet on this race. <clears throat> As I say, I would like a, a six over the two five, two five six box. As Eduardo say, he's he's going with a two six. Um, and they're at post time. They're heading to the gate right now. And we'll see what this comes out. And then I'll go into this last, this 10th race. For the last of the pick four, I've give, given you the Grand Slam. If you haven't heard it, it's, I, I'll say it again because this is the start of the Grand Slam. If you want to play it, it's a 5-6 with the 2-3. Um, with the 2, with the 3-5. Three, 3-5 five. Three, five in the last race, must win three or the five i hope this two this two comes in the two is 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 a nice price at at five to one for a two dollar bet that will pay ten dollars uh, not sure if skunk dog you get into any of these bets or henny god either one of y'all put anything down on any one of these races I like my long shot seven two box. Okay, we're gonna see what it what it do. We got another one up here. Skunk dog say seven two box. Okay, that's a good one there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, with that, I would put with you. I'd go a five two seven. That's my numbers. Um, box that for three dollars. But like we say, we are gonna see. I have the five and the six in the grand slam. I just need them to come in first, second, or third. Um, to keep me alive, and then I have the three on a quick pick ticket that I played. Um, so if I don't go through all the races today, you know, because it's almost been an hour, um, I'm going to give you a start off with the first couple um, and then make get ready to come back so I can talk about Nope a little later on. Um, but they're in the gate. They're, they're putting them in the gate right now. Let me look at this. Go up here and look at this two. Both of y'all like the two. Oh, Copper Town. Yeah. yeah. Copper Town has speed. That's one thing. That's one thing. Copper Town does have speed. You bet the Saratoga Grand Slam? Okay. For sure. Would you would you pick in the last race to win it? Or what do you have in this first leg, first, second, or third? All right, they're off. Um, right now the five is out front. Astrocratic. Um, happy for happy farm is in second place. Copper Town in third. The four window fall is moving up on the outside. Five is trying to go wire to wire. Astrocratic. Happy Farm is on his outside. Coming around to the last turn before the home stretch. There's five, six out in front. Six on the outside of the five. They're neck and neck coming to home. They're one, two, five, six. Now the six is passing out the five. On the outside, the six just blew off and ran away with it. Six, five, looks like either three or the four. So it looks like six, five, three, four, six. You got that there. They both came in first and second. So right now your ticket doubles, skunk dog, because the five came in first. I mean, the six came in first, the five in second. And I'm looking for that three. To maybe squeak in for that that third spot, um, because my quick pick ticket will, will be good. Um, so I'm gonna look at it here. Now I think I can put the replay up on my TV. Let's see. Well, you guys ain't gonna be able to see it. Here, I'm just gonna share it here. 
real quick. Hold on. Ah, fucking up, Goob. You're fucking up. All right, it's just show. Ah, they didn't show it. But they're showing the six. See, that's the six five. Let me spread it out so everybody can see it. It's just a replay of it. I'll take it down. If not, if you see it deleted out here and just hear me talking, that means I, I had to delete it out. Six five all day long. And they didn't show if the three. It's slow motion here. Let's see if this three got up real quick before I stop sharing it. Six, five. Ah, they didn't show it. All right. So I took it down. Three, five, last leg. Okay. We got the same thing. Um, they should be showing if the three came up. Let me get back in here and... Uh, Get my PPs back up. Um, you got the three five in the last leg too. So right now it just for us it it gave us two two times our bet for that dollar. So now it's basically a two dollar ticket um, with the five and the six coming in first or second. Um, so yeah, and that that leg. Um, we got it doubled. And the next leg, we're looking at the, the two and the three. That was a six. Okay, happy for him. He was the favorite. He won like the favorite. Ran away with it with Flav Flavian Pratt. Flavian Pratt is a good jockey, man. He, he races a lot of times over at um, in California. He just came over, I think, this year to start running on the New York circuit, but he was, he was on. That's why I, I first got wind of him was when we used to be able to play Del Mar and Santa Anita. We can't play that, those tracks out here anymore. For whatever reason, they have something with, um, they have something with, with one of the horse and industries or something like that. Uh, and they cut, Six five four. What is that? Oh, six five four. What it came in? Ah, okay. Well, see my my uh my quick pick ticket is dead. So that just shows you right there what it coming six five four, and on a quick pick ticket I had the three in the first leg. That ticket is no no good now. That's the problem with trying to single sometimes in certain races. But that was a quick pick. I didn't. I didn't expect um, anything of it, in hopes that it, it just got close because he got beat by a neck. So um, I can't knock him for that, for a quick pick. But he's out. Um, so the next one is uh, I got the two and the three. Crowded out with or Ariz, Irad Ortiz Jr. And hey there with Flavian Pratt. I think Flavian Pratt on this day is going to have a, 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 um, a, a good day. You know, some jockeys have good days, some have bad for a, a while. If you can see, out of 19 mounts that he's had so far at Saratoga, he's only won two as of today. I believe he's already won two, two races. Um, so this may be a good day. Sometimes they get three, four wins in a row. It's all depends. Sometimes that's what you can look at. Once you start looking at the first beginning of the races, um, you can extend out to later races and see how the track is playing, especially on turf. Like I said, so far it looks like these horses is, is speed is taking form. So now when you look at the PPs from this point on, starting with the pick four um, that's coming up, um, <clears throat> you want to look at more of speed horses 
if the if the track is running, speed gets out there, speed holds off. Some days are closer days where a lot of closing horses will come back and snatch you um, from behind. Catch the, the 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 ones that's out there running fast, um, or the speed horses. But today it seems like the speed is holding up. So I'm gonna bet a lot on the speed, and that's what I have in the next race, the two and the three. Are the two speed horses crowding out to two at three to one? He hangs. Um, he hangs though. However, this last race, this six furlong race at 109 seconds, the third out, the <clears throat> when you look at the PPs and you see where it's it's italics for a name of a horse, like this one says spin the spin the spin the double or something like that. When it's an italics like that, that means that that horse came back and won its next race. So the third horse. The horse that came in third came back out his next race, either going up in class or going down in class, and won his last race. So that's a good sign for the fourth horse that was only two lengths behind that, that if he's dropping or something or going up, for him to win it, this is the reason I took him. Um, but I have the two and the three. Three single, I like him more. I like him to wire the field. Um, just in my my pick four, do I have him single? Not in the Grand Slam. Because I was trying to quadruple my bet. Because if the two and the three come in first, second, or third, it'll, it'll not only go from a double of my money, but to a quadruple. Um, so I'm not sure what Skunk Dog has in this next race. Um, I do have the two and the three. Um, to finish off my pick four, like I say, I singled in, in this leg, stretched out in the next leg, singled in the ninth leg, the five, and I was going to tell you about the tenth race. The tenth race is the maiden claiming, 40. Um, let me get down to it. And this ticket would to be nine bucks. Single times six to times single times three. The three that I took in here at five and a half furlongs last race. Um, I like this three. Louis Saez, super quality. Uh, speed jockey. Same type of race, maiden claiming forty thousand. So he's not a drop, and he's he's going um, vertically, just shortening up a little bit instead of going six furlongs as he went last time, where he had speed in the stretch. He was in first and just got caught because of a long distance. Shortening up with that speed, I like that. I also like droppers. There's a couple droppers. Is blind light. He's never ran on turf, but he's dropping from a maiden 60,000K to a maiden claiming. The biggest jump in horse racing is maiden claiming to maiden special weight. So the biggest drop is from maiden special weight to maiden claiming. This horse is dropping from maiden special weight, 60,000 is six, blinding light is dropping and making a big drop to made and claiming 40,000. They're basically giving up trying to get some type of money out of this horse. For whatever reason, he was at Gulfstream in a made special weight. They're dropping him, but he does have, he's never ran on turf, but he has four. If you look down at, at the bottom of the, the bottom of this PP, that's a, uh, the horse is training. He's ran four times trained at Saratoga. Coming from Gulfstream, they brought him over here, George Weaver. Um, the trainer brought him over here to Saratoga, and he's ran four times on the turf since June. So they're betting that this is a turf horse going on turf, dropping. 
So you got to play him. And then the last one is Bow. Big Woo. Big Woo at 15 to 1. Last race of the day will be something that I would put money across on at 15 to 1. Because this is a big price horse. If this horse wins the, the last leg, it's going to pay big. It's going to pay like $32, $34. Um, and if you look at Big Woo, I don't know how good you can see it. <clears throat> but this G and this L in black right next to the 119, that means that this horse was gilded. And it's getting first time lay six. It's getting the first time juice. And they cut his shit off. What can make a horse more madder than cutting him, gelding him? He can't have no baby. He can't do none of that. Um, they know that this horse is, is, is only for one thing. He's not going out to stud once he's done. They're going to get as much money as they can out of this horse while they can. Once you geld a horse, you know you're trying to get as much money. The thing of it is, is why is this horse even here? <clears throat> if you look at the price, I'm going to show you something about the price of these horses in this seventh rate. Because this 10th this rate, the best thing to do is put at least a dollar across on this seven horse at 15 to one. And I'm going to tell you why. Next to the horse's name at the top, it says 40,000. Look at this 1A. At the top, it says 22K. Right next to the prime power on the left of the prime power, that number is how much they paid for the horse. They paid 22,000 for this horse. The two horse, they got a ten thousand dollar stud fee when they when they did this horse's sire and dame together. Three hundred k on super quality. They paid three hundred thousand, and they're running them in forty maiden claiming forty thousand. You know how much money they they losing on this horse. That's why they keep dropping this horse. They trying to get some of this money. Back this three hundred thousand. That's why he's on my ticket, because I know they got to be pushing this horse somewhere to get that money back, somehow to get that three hundred k back. If I can get it at forty thousand dollars at a time, at least I'm getting some of it back. Another horse, one hundred and ninety five thousand, rugged union. Second off the layoff, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that horse was scratched. But he's also going vertically, made and claiming 40000 They paid 195000 for the horse. They're trying to get some money back. But they've already dropped this horse. He's been dropping. 80000 then down to 90000 or up to 90000 and now back down to made and claiming 40000 He was behind super quality. That's why his is black here. Ragged Union is in the dark. He came in third behind Super Quality. And then, like I say, Bud and Light, $110,000 horse. He came in, six, six, came in second at Maiden 60K. <clears throat> so now they're dropping him to Maiden, claiming 40. They're trying to get some of this $110,000 back. When you're looking at later races like this and they're putting them in these these um these spots after they've paid so much you know they paid three or four hundred thousand that's why they put them in the maiden claim i mean uh maiden special weight from maiden special weight you're supposed to go to allowance races from allowance races i believe is claiming rate or claiming races to allowance races to stakes races you're trying to walk this horse up to get to them stakes where they're you know, three, four, five hundred K stakes races. Um, and that's what they're trying to do. I'm not sure if this is the race or what we're looking at. Yeah, that's a pass race. Um, so yeah, when so when you look at this seven, they paid a hundred k for him out of street sense. They paid a hundred thousand dollars. All the others aren't gilded. So if I paid three hundred thousand dollars 
at least if I if I don't get it off racing, I can put him out to stud or something, get some kind of money back on him. But he's got to win first. You got to have some kind of pedigree, or you're gonna be paying to have that horse. Um, to breed with another horse, you're gonna have to pay that stud fee or whatnot. You want another person to pay the stud fee to you on the seven horse. They've already gelded him after the first race. So they don't plan on breeding him. He's getting first time juice and he's dropping. I mean, he was nowhere in his last race. But if you look three back of his training, after he got gelded, after they put laces on him, at Churchill Downs, he ran a 46 on turf, 46 seconds. That is fast. That is fast. Right after he gets gelded, a couple months after he gets gelded, they put him on turf. And he comes, runs a 46 seconds out of 48 seconds. So he, he beat that by two seconds. So I would play the 367. It'd be a $9 ticket. Um, I think we got a couple minutes before this. The start of the pick four. But I've been on here for an hour and 16. Hopefully I gave y'all a good um, something to go by, look at. I'll come back a little later when I, I do my, my my preview, pre seeing the movie of Nope. I'm um, going to just discuss what the trailer and what I think it might be. I got to say something either way, before it and afterward. Because I'm a black man with a channel about ufos speaking of a black producer speaking of ufos hey i hope i gave y'all a little something man a dollar two dollars on the horses see what it come back with today if you played anything um tell me a little later how you did appreciate everybody stopping by good luck on your skunk dog holla at you a little later king mike marks was good with y'all appreciate you stopping by man you know what I'm saying? Um, hope y'all win a little bit of money. If not, check me out, man. I might try to do this every other day or something, or as long as Saratoga is running. Um, and see if we all can make some money up out of betting on the horses. Same thing as betting on basketball, baseball, football. You know, horses just got a little jockey on the top of it. A little more... Um, myself out um so yeah it was fun you know it, it talks about i wish i could show my scratch paper uh i tried to get it down you know of my numbers let me see if i can get it up here that's what it kind of looks like beforehand all my scribbling and whatnot i tried to upload it so people can see um that's what you do with the you know when you you fucking with the them horses, you know, you have to have, especially you have to have the Bible of all horse racing, uh, the racing form, a uh, little information. I don't get it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I only get it every blue moon. It's a lot much for me. What I have, my PPs, it's the same thing as what's here. These are just other handicappers speaking on it. Sometimes I like to hear what they have to say. Other times I don't use anything that they say. I, I keep stay on my own um, handicap and win, lose, or draw. Like I say, bet what you can bet. You know, don't go overboard. It is gambling. You know what I'm saying? But just have fun with it. It's just something to have fun with, pastime, um, and I enjoy it. Peace out to everybody, man. Good winnings to anybody. Shout out to all my South Pomona homies and everybody else from Pomona. Peace out.